knowing you the nice guy. We know that shit. We know you the nice guy, so we deal with you. You get it? Deal. We deal with you. Because you something to deal with. You the nice guy. We know we can get things. We can get things off on you. That we can't get off on the man that we're chasing. Because we're not going to bring that bullshit to the man that we're chasing. Unless we're fighting for you. That's it. We ain't going to bring the bullshit at our job. The bullshit for my family to you. We'll cut their ass off. Or we'll stop going to, going to the job you don't like. Before we bring that drama to you. Because you're something to lose things for. You're something to sacrifice for. But the good guy... You got to handle the stress of the family. You got to handle the stress of her friends. You got to handle the stress of everybody around her because we're dealing with you. We don't want you. <laughs> we don't want you. You're just something to deal with. That's it. That's it. So when you become that man, that good guy, you know, that good guy, she ain't going to sacrifice her job, her friends, her family for you because you're something to deal with. And you deal with the shit she deal with because you're trying to get in with the bitch. You can't get in with the bitch because she's dealing with you. She don't want you. Do you understand that? Bitch put away with shit for the man she wants. She's not going to bring that stress to you. Ever. She's not going to bring that stress to you. But you... Will stay there and spend time, years, and energy with a woman that's just dealing with you. To the point that y'all get these bitches the high-ranking position in your life. And while the bitch dealing with you, you marry the bitch that's just dealing with you. Because you're something to deal with. You're nothing to sacrifice for. You're nothing I want. You're just something to deal with. The nice guy does not build tension, charisma, and sexual attraction between the woman. Because you're too busy trying to prove yourself to the woman. You are. So you can't prove, I mean, so you can't build sexual tension between the woman. Because you're too busy trying to prove yourself to the woman. Proving yourself to the woman is trying to be the man for the job. You already the man for the job. You don't need to do that. That's why we that's why we fuck with you. That's why we chase you. That's why we call you. That's why we spend nights trying to figure out where you at. That's why we want to know more about you. Cause we trying to get you. We trying to get you to be familiar with us. But instead, you try to prove yourself to the woman so you miss out on the sexual attraction between you and the woman and the charisma. You miss out on that because you're too busy trying to prove yourself. You too busy. You trying to be a friend. You trying to be a confidant. You want the bitch to crawl on your shoulder. You trying to look like you're something you're not. And that sexual attraction is not there. It is not there. Let me tell y'all something. A bitch that got sexual attraction for you, she gonna try to withdraw herself from you if she knows she'll give you that goddamn pussy. If she already said, okay, I'm gonna fuck this goddamn nigga. We gonna try to pull back from you. But we'll lay that shit on thick. We'll lay that shit on thick if you're the good guy. And we know that we can get you caught up like that. We'll lay that shit on thick. It's kind of like throwing you a fucking bone to see would you bite that shit. A woman, you can go, get, go to your job and it be a woman at your job. And she'll always throw hints that she want to fuck you. And then the next day, she ignore you. That's a woman that's going to try to lay that shit on thick. To get you to bite her. To get you to chase her. To get you where she want to put you at. But a woman, when she dealing with you, she on the phone with you, or she talking to you, she like, listen, I can't fuck with you. I can't do it. Because then we begin to start questioning ourselves. Because we know we're going to go above and beyond for this nigga. We're going to go above and beyond. We're going to give him the pussy. We're going to try to withdraw ourselves back from you. We got to question ourselves when we're dealing with you. We got to be like, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, you going to make me do something I really don't want to do. And the energy is there. Bitch will call your ass 3 in the fucking morning telling you how hot and horny she is. Or trying to go into a conversation with you. 
to see what's going on with you or even text you. Bitch sending you love notes. Bitch trying to get to know you more. Bitch trying to turn you on. But at the same time, we trying to pull back because we might give you that goddamn pussy. We might get caught up on your ass. But that's a bitch that got a sexual attraction between you and the bitch. Don't you notice with that chick, you don't have to try hard. The chemistry is there. It's already there. But with good guys, you fuck up the, the sexual tension between you and the woman. And you fuck up the chemistry. Y'all fuck it up. Because y'all trying to be a friend. Y'all is. Y'all trying to be a friend of these bitches. Trying to be the man for the goddamn job. No, bitch. I'm a living nightmare when, when it comes to me, bitch. I'm going to turn your world upside down. Because once you experience me, you ain't going to want to stop. I'm going to make your ass cut loose all your family members, bitch. You're going to be sacrificing motherfuckers left and right around this bitch. Because you know you that type of man, the bitch going to embody you. You get what I'm saying? She she just is. You that type of man. You are a leaving, breathing nightmare to a bitch. Because the thing is, when she get with you, her world changes. She ain't the same person no more because she's trying to embody you. You ain't trying to embody her. So you a living, breathing nightmare for the bitch. So the friend she used to be cool with, she ain't cool with no more. The place where she used to go, she don't like that place no more. Her family members, she distanced themselves from them when they say they got a problem with you. Because you are the man to, to sacrifice for. That's some real shit. You got to understand that. That's why I told y'all in my last upload, you know, you got bitches... Your bitch will tell you, you know, nigga, you ain't shit. Tell a bitch, yeah, nigga, yeah, bitch, you knew I wasn't shit when you got with me. I'm a work in progress around this motherfucker. The work, the most high still working on me. But you still choose to deal with me. Because I'm a force to be reckoned with, bitch. You better recognize. That's some real shit. But a lot of y'all scared to tell a bitch that because you're, you're trying to embody the bitch. You're scared. You are a living, living, breathing nightmare. When a woman is dealing with you, she cuts everybody off for you. She not the same person that she used to be. She started viewing the world different when she's dealing with you because you want hell of a man. If a woman dealing with you and her life ain't changed, I mean, the bitch ain't cutting motherfuckers off left and right when it comes to you. The nigga, you trying to be the man for the job. You trying to be the good guy around this bitch. You know? You want to you, you wanna fit good with her friends and family members. You ain't going to fit good because it's only one alpha male. And when you go around her male, the male alpha male in the family, they will try to check you. And you are alpha male. You a man. You, you, you got your own. It's your world. And the bitch that you're dealing with, she's trying to fit into your world. So why the fuck, you, if you a masculine man, you ain't trying to get in with the family. Hell, the family should be trying to get in with you. The family should be trying to get in with you. It's your world. And you a living, breathing nightmare when it comes to a bitch. Because she ain't going to. Check in with her father no more. She ain't going to check in with her mother no more. She ain't going to give a fuck what her family members got to say or what her friends got to say about you. The bitch will change her job to work, to make her time around you. A bitch will circle her days around you. Because she know you one hell of a man. But you're trying to be the good guy. You're trying to serve a purpose in the bitch life. Bitch ain't changing shit. Because you a good guy. Just admit the shit. Just admit that. You got to know that when you're dealing with a dang. Some real shit. You know, your girl throw as fuck. You know what I mean? I know. I already know I'm cold. <laughs> Y'all tell me I already know I'm cold-blooded. Cold, I'm cold-blooded in this shit because I'm coming for the fucking crown. I snatch crowns off motherfuckers' heads. Point blank, period. I ain't trying to befriend nobody, trying to be your friend. I ain't trying to collaborate. I'm just snatching the crown off your motherfucking head, point blank, period. Leave you with nothing to talk about but ain't shit ass succubus. Leave your ass with all you gonna go live on is ain't shit ass bitches all goddamn day. Because this motherfucking game is cold. I'm telling you, it is it. The next one. 